what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm going to basically tell you how to fix the anti-cheat anti error or issue you're currently having with fifa 23 so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you'll perfectly know what you do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want to you guys know or let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am Especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys You would support my work here on YouTube a little bit And I'm gonna really really be thankful for that And I'm gonna thank you for that So anyways I would just say let's get right started So the first step is gonna be to navigate to the bottom corner Or your bottom of your screen You're gonna right click and open up your task manager Or just simply use the shortcut Afterwards navigate to the top left corner of your screen Where you're gonna click into processes Just to ensure that you can round it Afterwards hit one of those random processes doesn't really matter which one type in f in order to find fifa 23 if nothing pops up it's good for you if something pops up simply hit right click and end the task afterwards end the task manager next step is going to be to navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen where you're going to click onto the window symbol and open up your settings navigating right into updating security and sticking around windows update where i obviously want you to download the latest version of windows and i know guys it's going to sound a little bit basic but trust me updating every single driver you could possibly update will help you a lot with every kind of issue you're currently having and also with the anti-cheat error afterwards end this task and do the same thing for a graphics card so hit the application hit the browser and download the latest version of your driver just to provide the best possible performance in general for your pc afterwards take your origin or your steam or wherever you downloaded your launcher shortcut or your fifa 23 shortcut on your desktop you're gonna right click it and go to the very bottom where it says properties once the properties pop up click onto compatibility and simply copy my settings so let's quickly run through it enable run this program compatibility mode for it select windows 8 disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator hit apply and okay I would personally recommend to restart your PC afterwards and once it is restored you should be able to see this little administer symbol right on your shortcut where once you afterwards to double click your launcher and launch a game over the launcher or launch your game and this will probably fix your issue. The last step could be to re just reinstall your game. That's it for your video guys, I hope that I could actually help you out of this one. If it was like that just leave a like, a comment or a subscription. I'm gonna really be thankful for that and yeah guys I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you but I'm just doing my best in order to help you out. Either way I hope you guys have a wonderful day, see you in the next one and bye.